So tell me about your daughter. She, she was a beautiful girl. She made good grades. She was captain of the cheerleading squad. She had lots of friends. Hey, Lisa, how's the family doing? Oh, hey, we're doing great, thank you. And Caitlin, how's she? My boy Jeremy's so fond of her. Oh, she's doing great. She's really enjoying her senior year. That's great. She's a perfect, pretty young lady. Yeah, thank you. We think so, too. See you. Have a great day. You too. Everyone loved her. Even people that didn't know her. Was anyone interested in her? A boyfriend, maybe? She was dating Brandon. They dated for years. Did he ever show any indication of violence towards her? No, no. He loved her. So I heard you recently got in a fight with Caitlin's friend, Jeremy. Who, Jeremy? He wasn't her friend. He's more like a creepy stalker. Hey! Why are you sending creepy texts to my girlfriend? What are you even talking about? How'd you even get that? You got go. Stay away from her! Well, Sarah, her best friend, um, said that she saw him staring outside her window. I don't know. Maybe he should be the one you're talking to. Yeah. Jeremy was definitely watching us that night. He's always had a crush on Caitlin. So, how are you and Brandon? We're doing really. Oh my gosh, what's that? Look out the window, someone's watching us. So you're interested in Caitlin? It's understandable. She's a pretty girl. So you sent her that text telling her how you felt? And she rejected you. Then she sent her meathead boyfriend over there to beat you up? So you went to her house and you confronted her. She rejected you again. You got angry and upset, and then you got out of control. That, that, and that isn't what happened. No, I, yes, I cared about her a lot, but I'm not a killer. And I mean, I can, I can prove it. Just look at the photo, look at the timestamp. See, that proves that I'm not the killer you're looking for. I'm sorry, Caitlin. I couldn't find your killer. Oh, excuse me, sir. That's okay. Just going to talk to an old friend. If my son can't have you, no one will. She's a perfect, pretty young lady. Oh my gosh, what's that? Look out the window, someone's watching us. Oh, hey, Mr. Collins. Oh, call me Steve. Oh, okay, um, Steve, what can I do for you? Oh, uh, you know my son, Jeremy, don't you? Um, yeah, sure. I mean, he's a swell guy. Not too many like him in the world, is there? No, there certainly isn't. Mr. Um, Steve, I don't mean to be rude, but I do have an exam that I need to study for. Then why aren't you with him? What? You'd rather waste your time with a pathetic, washed-up quarterback like Brandon instead of being in a real relationship with my son? It's stupid. Mr. Collins, I think you should leave. Fine. If my son can't have you, no one will.